What's up everyone, Katja here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a faux wood finish. I didn't even want to do this piece. I was forcing myself to come here and paint and work on this piece and it obviously shows. It's so boring, it's not exciting and also nobody wants to buy it. So we are going to fix that today. As I was working on this piece, I was getting started to paint it. I got a bad phone call that my little baby dog is passing away. You're such a good girl. And it was a very sad day in my life. And I probably should have never came back and finished this piece because I just didn't do a good job. It reminds me that my dog is not with me anymore. This is Walmart. Walmart? No, this is Walnut, not Walmart. <laughs> Why do we still have a sticker on our tool? I don't know. I'm not the best woodworker in the world, but you know, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Look, it's kind of working. So instead of stripping this piece down or repainting it completely, I'm going to elevate this look by using Anislon paint and Anislon scumble glaze. Here we're removing gold gilding wax only that I had on this piece because it's very important to keep our chalk paint waxed before applying this glaze. This piece is in perfectly good shape and there is no reason this, this piece should not be in somebody's home. There is no reason why this piece is staying here in my studio. So, perfect shape. I still have to remove the transfer from the back inside the piece. So to remove the transfer, you either have to send it or uh, use a heat gun to remove it. Those are two only options. You don't have many options, so. What a beautiful transfer this is. It makes me sad that I have to strip it, but I have to. Let's give it a try a little bit of on the corner to see how is it working. If it's working, we're just gonna keep on going. If it's not, then we have to send it. Uh, it's a shame, I feel bad. This transfer is beautiful, it's gorgeous, but it just doesn't match what I have planned for this piece in my head. I feel like this is going to take seven hours, so I'm just going to bring my sander and give it a try. Send it 30 minutes later and four pads, 80 grit. Uh, got rid of all of this. So now we have all nice wood that I have to paint. And now we have a nice and clean canvas and I will come back tomorrow and do something super fun with it. Hopefully it's going to come out good. To create a faux wood finish, we are going to mix some Anislon Coco, Hon Fleur and Anislon Scumbled Glaze. Anislon Glaze is coming out soon, so I will definitely keep you posted when it's out and available to be purchased. I'm still improving this technique. This was the very first time I tried to do this, and I will definitely be playing some more with this in the future, but I just wanted to share with you my very first experience. First, we are going to apply a glaze to some section because I can't cover all this. 
if I keep on going from top to bottom, by the time I'm done with the bottom, my top is going to be dry, so it's not workable. So we have to work section by section. First, I'm going to do a little bit just to fill the glaze. I think this might be good, but let's see. You have to cover a whole area. And now let's go with the brush. I like it. So you have to put some pressure on the brush so you can get this pattern. Okay. So this section actually ends up being a little lighter than the rest, so I'm going to put just another coat and repeat the process and hopefully that will make it look even. And for this section, I'm using different brush. I have to go very light with this one because this is a wire brush. This was the softer wire brush that they had. I am super focused on this technique. I am learning as I'm showing you. This is actually fun. You're creating uh, faux wood. So definitely a fun technique and I'm glad actually I gave it a try because I always wanted to try this and I was always scared, but here we are learning new techniques in 2023. Everything is going pretty smooth and easy, except this door in the middle part, in this middle section area, where I don't like this, uh, this here and this two things that are going on. It uh, gave me an even look. So I am going to try to fix it. I don't really know how to fix it because I never done this before. This is my very first thing doing this and I'm doing it in front of the camera. 
So what I'm going to do is first try to apply another coat of glaze, reactivate the glaze that is already here, and then I'm going to brush it. And if that doesn't work, then I simply have to repaint this section only, uh, this door, and repeat the process with a fresh glaze. But first, let's, do, let's try to reactivate this existing glaze with another coat. We're just going to repeat the process and we will see what will happen. You don't know until you don't try. So now what is happening, I kind of fix it, but it's too thick. It uh, doesn't match the rest of the piece. One more trick I'm going to try before I repaint this is I'm going actually to apply glaze, anise long glaze, directly over this. So this is my last hope before I repaint it. But And this is how I usually learn everything that I learn in my life. Everything about furniture, I learn by experimenting and trying different things and figuring out what works, what doesn't work, and why it's not working. So I'm just showing it to you guys today. For the inside, I'm using Anislon Satin Paint Color Canva. Satin paint also has a top coat in it, so all I have to do is apply three coats of it and I'll be all done. No protecting, no doing anything. It's pretty convenient. And to spice this piece up, I'm going to use a my transfer that is called Elegant Neutrals by Rezan with Prima. Look what I have, look, look. Here, here. That's pretty. This came out so pretty. Elegant Neutrals transfer for elegant neutral a piece of furniture. I think it's a perfect match. Now we have to put all these together and we're almost done. I'm going to attach the back to the piece, put some clear wax, put the hardware which is already gilded and we will be all done and let's see how everything looks together. Let's see if this makes any sense like he did in my head.
This piece already has wax underneath the glaze that we apply, but I'm just going to apply another coat of clear wax anyway, just to make sure everything is protected and nice because I never uh, used this glazed uh, mix with chalk paint before, so I don't know how durable it is. So to play safe, we're using Anis Long Clear Wax with the waxing brush. And here I'm just adding a touch of gold gilding wax on my hinges. Oh my goodness, what a good dog he is. My supervisor. My supervisor of quality control in Katja Furniture. And it's done. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye.